So whilst hiking in this region um, in Dolomites in Italy, looking at these amazing views, look at that. And of course on the other side as well. I don't know whether you, can, you guys can see the mountain over there behind the trees. Um, I thought it was a good idea for me to actually talk about why do I hike in particular? What is the benefit of hiking? <laughs> My name is Ahmed, and I'm an entrepreneur and an educator. And on this channel, I specifically talk about personal development and traveling. So I'd encourage you to please subscribe and hit the bell notification for more content like this. I'll start with the number one, which is the easiest one for everyone to understand and kind of grasp their head around, is that of course, it's for your general fitness. Um, human bodies actually designed, your legs are designed to function. So therefore, there's, the today's society that we live in today, we actually don't walk a lot. We actually sit down and if you, if you actually read the statistics, you'll realize that sitting is the, or even lying down in bed, is the biggest killer um, and contributes to a lot of cardiovascular diseases as well. So one of the reasons that obviously that I hike is just to stay fit. Um, I like to stay in the outdoors. It's, uh, I'm quite energetic by nature. I think a lot of this has to be uh, part of your genetic system. And um, if I'm just sitting around for too long, I start to hate myself. So hiking is a good outlet for me. That's one. So I would uh, recommend that you guys should uh, probably look into that. If you're not happy about where you are in terms of your circumstances, uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, um, then hiking is one way to kind of tackle that. And like I said, so that's the physical part done. Mental part, of course, there's a lot of times in my life, especially in business, as you probably would know, that I have a education podcast, I have an education business. I also own a lot of properties as well. So it actually kind of gets to me a lot of the times. The people who rent my properties kind of get on top of me as well, kind of bother me. Uh, and uh, the people who work for me kind of, I'm not saying that I, obviously I, I, love the, uh, I love them, but, uh, but it sometimes it gets a bit overwhelming. So it's, it, is, it is a nice break for me to get a bit of perspective and kind of ground myself down to realize where I'm going, what I want to do with my life. So that's number two, to gain a bit of perspective. Point number three, as I climb up hill, and that's why I'm a bit out of breath. Point number three is uh, for you to be emotionally stable. Um, I'm sure just like me, a lot of you guys deal with a lot of people. And with a lot of people means you develop a lot of relationships. When you develop a lot of relationships, and I don't mean girlfriend, boyfriend, I just mean regular friends, your parents, your sister, your brother, whoever it is, whatever kind of relationship you have, it always has a positive effect and a negative effect. And uh, there are different ways to, to kind of deal with um, the negative aspects of those relationships. Um, the, my channel is all about being open, being honest uh, about my life. My relationship with my father is a bit fragile, for example. Like, I love him and he loves me. We both know each other. But he probably wouldn't find out that I love him through this video, of course. So, because we are macho men and uh, it makes it a bit, a bit difficult for me to become emotional with him. Because I know that if I become emotional, he's going to become emotional. And I can't handle anybody else who becomes emotional in front of me. Because I can't even handle my own emotions. So, hiking allows me to kind of keep my emotions at, a, at, at bay, essentially. And uh, kind of deal with things at one step at a time, you know. Um, not just with my father, with any other relationship as well. I've just used, used my father as, as an example here. So that's the third, or maybe the fourth benefit, I'm not actually sure, um, of, of, uh, of hiking in this, in, in any region or any time that you want to. The other perspective is, I love traveling. I enjoy traveling, I enjoy discovering new places. I, ha I like to think, and I know, that I have the zest for life. Um, because if you're not physical, if you're not active, if you're not doing things in life, you're, you might as well be a chair or a table because your life does not really have a meaning because you haven't defined your meaning for yourself. So for me, point number five is that it hiking actually allows me to 
travel a lot, discover new places, meet new people, uh, kind of interact with new people, learn a new language. There's loads of benefits. I've really pointed them all out. So hiking has been uh, a reason as to why I actually travel. So that's, that's another benefit that you could imply in your life as well. Hassan, do you have a benefit for, of hiking that you want to share with my homies? Um, Give me one, man. Wearing jeans when you're not supposed to wear jeans, is that what it is? <laughs> is that your, basically, when you have recreational activities, uh -huh. it makes you more productive okay. in your work part of your life. You feel like more fulfilled, right? Yeah, you get more balanced. Good. Because uh, people try to work very hard get to like a burnout stage yep and what ends up happening is once they burn out they don't go as far as they could have gone if they just worked slowly and consistently and kept a good balance that's true that's true i was talking about that actually earlier but the way you put it is absolutely beautiful as well anything else that comes to mind i think that's the main reason why you travel because i know you and i are basically on a similar path but you're a, a bit ahead of me than I am. Not a bit, a lot ahead of me. I don't want to water down your achievements, of course. Tell me, then, uh, what else for hiking? Um, what else does hiking does for you? Increases your stamina. Okay, that's another one. I didn't say, I didn't say that. Because Inclu stamina and endurance. Like on your day-to-day -day basis, uh -huh. spend a lot of time sitting down, uh -huh. your heart gets weaker. Yep. And what ends up right. happening is you increase risk of heart attacks, Yep, uh, I did say that sitting is the biggest killer in the world because of the increase in cardiovascular diseases because your arteries actually clog up. It's uh, the biggest risk of premature death, basically. Yep, yeah, yeah. You go before your time. Yep. So obviously if you've got organ failure, then that's your time. Yep. But you might have a perfectly functioning body, just a slightly weak heart, uh -huh. and you had some oily food or you got a cholesterol build up somewhere, uh -huh. and you end up having a heart attack. Fair. And you're gone. Okay. Could have lost it a bit longer. That's a, that's a good point, yeah. So, All those regrets. Recently, I don't know whether you guys know, you definitely don't know, so I might as well tell you. My dad's best friend of his life passed away at 58 years of age. Can you believe that? Like his parents are alive and he's dead. He's a doctor and he's dead. Why? And he died with loads of regrets. The last thing he said to his family, Hassan, this is so amazing. The last thing he said to his family, Hassan, yeah. was that he doesn't want to die. There are loads of things that he wants to do in life and he hasn't done them, i.e. get his kids, see his kids get married and have kids, for example. And well, he see himself become a granddad. And he had a severe condition of Parkinson's disease. But you know how we brown people are. Even if we have diseases, we still don't care. We have diabetes, we don't care. We still take ton of sugar. Anyway, so this guy, he had Parkinson's, but because of Parkinson's, he always used to lie down, didn't used to do anything. So his, his son, I think, or his daughter, find him, found him just lying in bed. And they kind of moved him and asked him questions and he couldn't move. And basically they decided that he was gone. He's, it's over. Finished. Nada. Halas. So, Hassan, what you said was absolutely true, man. And I really appreciate that. Anyway... This was coming from the heart and I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed listening to me. I really would appreciate it if you could like, subscribe to this channel and uh, just share the message. Share the message as much as possible uh, of being an entrepreneur, doing your own thing and uh, traveling at the same time. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.